In Assam, the body of an accident victim was left unattended for over 10 hours at the National Highway 31. Not just that, dogs and crows were feeding on the cops, but nobody came forward to help. What's more appalling is that the police station was a mere 1.5 kilometers away from where the dead body was found. But police too arrived three hours later. The story I have with me, um, joining with the phone line, Arindam. Arindam, nothing can be more gruesome than this. Now, we can see those visuals over there. Nobody came to report. And police station, which was mere 1.5 kilometers, arrived two, three hours later? Yes, this is yet another incident of human apathy where uh, the body of an accident victim was left to rot on a national highway for over 10 hours. Nobody felt it was the responsibility to attend to the dead body. Uh, the incident happened on the wee hours of Tuesday uh, on National Highway 31, Kamalpur in Kamrup district of Assam, uh, where uh, one person was knocked down by a speeding vehicle on that highway and he died in on that spot. Uh, but the shocking fact is that uh, even after that accident, the body lied on the national highway for over 10 hours. Several vehicles even ran over it. Uh, in the visuals, you can see that stray dogs and crows preyed on the body. Uh, the, the locals came, they were just onlookers. Several vehicles passed over the dead body, but nobody on those passing vehicles or the people in the locality thought it was their responsibility to report the matter uh, to the nearest police station or to uh, they themselves take some action uh, so that the body could be saved from the, uh, from the passing vehicles. Uh, the thing was first noticed by uh, the singer of a local uh, TV channel who was the first to uh, reach the spot and it was he who recorded this entire incident and he was the one who uh, informed the matter to the nearest police station which was hardly 1.5 kilometer away. But the shocking fact is that even after he reported the matter to the nearest police station, the police arrived some three hours later. So. <clears throat> It was the initiative of this uh, uh, stringer of this local channel who uh, managed to uh, erect a temporary barricade with the help of a few locals by stones around the body so that no other speeding vehicles uh, accidentally ran over it. So uh, this is definitely a very shocking incident of public apathy where a dead body was left uh, right. unattended on National Highway 31 for over 10 hours. Right, Arindam, and uh, we can so see these visuals on the screen, of course. Uh, nothing can be more gruesome than, than this. We can't show the visuals, of course, because the body is in extremely bad state. These are the visuals, but we cannot show that vis those visuals to our viewers. Arindam, also, what did the police have to say on this matter? <laughs> Uh, we are not getting any reaction from the police as to why they reacted so lately on this uh, accident matter because it was hardly 1.5 kilometers away. Right. And the incident happened on not any state or state highway or any bypass uh, or any uh, small road. It was a national highway. Of and course. where was the highway patrolling by the police? Because it was lying there for 10 hours. Had there been some other big crimes that would have taken place on that road uh, in those 10 hours? the police have re how the police have reacted on that matter. So, in fact, we are not getting any reaction as of now from the police as to why they were so late in attending to the dead body. But yes, it was, uh, as I have mentioned, it was the stringer of a local TV channel who reported the matter to the police station and who was the first to report the matter. And even after that, the police arrived at the spot three hours after the matter was reported. And as I mentioned, the nearest police station was hardly 1.5 kilometers away from the place of the accident. Right, another man, as we know, the body has been mutilated beyond recognition. Any word from the police on, on, on who and somebody approached on uh, uh, who is the person and who is the uh, person who was killed, who was, uh, who was lying on, the, on this uh, highway from the police? Yes, uh, Any word that you've got? Yes, the body has been mutilated, uh, but uh, fortunately his identity has been uh, found by the police and he is found to be one uh, Rathi Mali. Uh, he is aged somewhere 46 or 47 years of uh, age. Uh, he was a person of the locality. Uh, so he was returning home uh, from work when this accident took place. And fortunately, though the body was mutilated, his uh, identity could be uh, found by the police. But as I have mentioned, <coughs> that even after this accident, uh, several vehicles ran over it. People of the locality came, they were just onlookers. 
but nobody on those moving vehicles right. that passed over the dead body or passed nearby it felt it was the responsibility to, matter to, uh, to report the matter to the nearest police station or to take some action themselves to prevent the body from being run right. over by speeding vehicles. So this is definitely a very shocking incident of uh, public authority that has come to light. Here Indeed. Now. Indeed, Arindam, thanks for getting us all those details. It was not just a small road, it was a national highway 31 and of course, indeed, a gruesome, gruesome act and we can't, just can't see this sheer apathy and police station wherein was just 1.5 kilometers away.